This is the 12 lead ECG of a patient who's had a sustained episode of chest discomfort. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 66 beats per minute. The rhythm is normal sinus rhythm. There is left axis deviation with an upgoing complex in lead 1 and a downgoing complex in lead 2. The PR interval is borderline prolonged at 210 milliseconds or just over 5 small squares. The QRS duration is normal at less than 3 small squares. There are no pathological Q waves. There is complete absence of R wave progression across the chest leads. The S wave remains dominant over the R wave as far round as V6. There is slight ST segment elevation in leads V2, V3, V4 and V5. There is T wave inversion in lead AVL. In summary, this 12 lead ECG, recorded in the absence of chest pain, reveals normal sinus rhythm at 66 beats per minute with borderline first degree heart block, left axis deviation, poor R wave progression, and subtle ST segment elevation in the anterolateral leads. Given the abnormalities and the symptoms, ischemic heart disease seems very likely, and it's quite possible that the patient has experienced a myocardial infarction in the last few days. Persistent ST segment elevation is not infrequent after a STEMI, but is also associated with an aneurysm of the ventricular wall. Classically, an ST segment elevation MI would be associated with deep pathological Q waves, although these are not always seen. An echocardiogram and investigation of the coronary arteries is indicated.